Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Dr. Drew sat down with Brianna to recount her emotional year in the most recent reunion episode. With her two daughters, Nova and Stella in tow, Brianna has suffered with her diagnosis, transitioned into a new relationship with teen mom security guard Bobby Scott, and moved residences. Dr. Drew questioned Brianna after her season recap had finished. When you relive it all, what are you most proud of? Moving out, Brianna said with a chuckle. Dr. Drew's answer was, that was significant. Where are you now? Five or 10 minutes, the MTV star shrugged. Brianna went on. It was a little difficult at first because I relocated Nova and Stella away from their familiar surroundings. But on the other hand, they are now fine and we are so close. Dr. Drew continued by saying, you've been depressed for a long time. How would you describe it? Describe how that feels for others. For me personally, I just don't want to do anything, the teen mom said. Depressive bipolar has this phase where you just can't accomplish anything, Dr. Drew said. Yeah, and then I'll have a manic episode at random, and I'll get everything done. I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and then I collapse hard, Brianna continued. The host reply was, this has a lot of positive news since it responds really well to treatment. Very heritable, meaning it runs in your family, yet highly medicable. I do want to try something else because I feel like the medication left me totally emotionless, Brianna insisted. So you simply say, this isn't working for me, and go back. You have the right to be happy. When did you see this? Nessa Diab inquired sitting motionless the entire time. Brianna, fighting back tears, said, I don't want to cry, at least not for me. I knew I needed help when I no longer wanted to interact with my children, which was a sign that things were going pretty terrible. Pinar of Edido, you believe that stopping your medication had anything to do with your breakup with Bobby? Nessa persisted. I'm not sure, Brianna said. Who ended the relationship, demanded the teen mom co-host. Brianna, who's now single, explained. I told him I needed some space, and after that, there was like pure radio silence for the next two weeks. I would want my spouse by my side if I were telling you that I wasn't mentally well, but I didn't get that. Then Dr. Drew chuckled and added, but isn't it a bit of a setup? I want you to leave if you stay you'll make him angry. In her defense, Brianna stated, however, it didn't go away. I simply needed a mental break. We haven't actually sat down and talked about what happened in detail up until this point. b H-U-R Town Teen Mom. Next chapter in September, Brianna also sobbed when talking about her illness with her mother and watchful younger sister, Brittany. I was diagnosed with bipolar depression, she admitted. Roxanne, Brianna's mother, and Brianna both started crying and wiping their eyes. Then over Bree's estranged father, Roxanne and Brittany got into a yelling brawl. Brittany yelled at her mother, you're making it about yourself. Roxanne yelled back, shut up, as Brianna just sat there. Brianna disclosed in November that she had broken up with her 42-year-old short-term partner, Bobby. On the Teen Mom spinoff's November 29th episode, Brianna admitted to her friend Shay that she was depressed at her recent status as a single woman. If I tell you that I'm upset, depressed, or otherwise not feeling well, it's because I need someone to be there for me. And he wasn't, she said. I might as well be single since I'm already feeling lonely. Brianna and Bobby's relationship broke down when she originally informed him that she needed a little more time to take care of her mental health, even though they had already been dating for a while. She was subsequently dissatisfied by the Detroit-based MTV bodyguard's lack of communication. 
She said, I don't want to feel like we have to be on FaceTime or communicate all the time. I still want him to call and see how I am. I'm hoping that he'll still get in touch and encourage me to make my choice. For the following few weeks, Brianna did not hear from Bobby, though. It take a Steve of you as she caught up with him at a coffee shop to break up with him after learning that he had traveled to Florida. She informed him, I believe that for a relationship to be successful, both of us need to put in the effort, was attempting to give Brianna some space as she had requested. But she responded, I'm not satisfied in this relationship right now. It's too little, too late. I consider our conversation to be done. Please subscribe my channel, Teen Mom Update.